Hey everybody, I just got back from grocery shopping and this morning I wasn't sure if I was going to Walmart or Market Basket. And I figured the Saturday before Thanksgiving, probably both stores would be crazy busy. So I said, you know, what? let me try Walmart. I wasn't too happy with the prices at Market Basket when I went last week. So I, I did go to Walmart today and I'm happy that I went. One price in particular, can't wait to show you. But anyways, I spent $152.31. So let me just get to this haul and I'll show you what I got. And at first, I got two bags of Great Value brand peas and carrots, just frozen vegetables. They were $0.98 cents each. And I got a pound of Land O'Lakes White American. It was a little expensive, $7.96. But that's the cheese that we always get. I got the usual chopped salad kit. This is the kale, pecan, cranberry. These are holding steady at $3.48, whether it's Walmart or Market Basket. So started buying them again. I got two things of the Great Value brand, uh, dried sweetened cranberries. It's a salad topper. Um, this one has cranberries and candied pecans. This one has cranberry and honey roasted almonds. And I'm going to use these on my salad, but I'm also going to um, put one of these in my stuffing for Thanksgiving. So that'll be different. And then we got, or I got, a cucumber. We'll say we because I'm sharing this with you. Regular standard cucumber. Got some celery. Celery when I make my stuffing. I haven't bought pork chops in a while, like a long time, but I've been wanting some. So I got these, the New York Chops, pork loin boneless center cut chops, $6.82 a pound. I got those. I love pork chops. Love pork chops, whether they're fried, baked, whatever. Love them. So, and then I got Brit Valley brand cheese tortellini. And what did I get to go with that? Great Value brand classic Alfredo sauce. So my son really likes this. One of his favorite meals. So I bought some of that. And I am just going to get to the surprise that I wanted to show you. And I am very happy about this. If you know any of my potato fiasco videos or from my Walmart haul, you'll know that or you'll remember that I paid $7.28 for a bag of potatoes at Walmart. Well, got a five pound bag of potatoes at Walmart and guess how much they were? Wait for it, get excited. They were, and it's right at the bottom of my receipt, which I'm glad I don't have to go searching for it, $2.78, $2.78. So from seven something to two seventy eight, they've gone down like $5. Wicked excited. I was almost like jumping for joy. I was like, I knew I came here for a reason. Cheaper than Market Basket right now. All right, so I can get rid of my receipt now that I showed you. Then I got the usual um, chunk white tuna and two cans of the solid albacore tuna. He's a great value brand. And the usual great value brand chunk chicken breast. Got a thing of ocean spray jellied cranberry sauce. Can of uh, condensed great value brand cream of mushroom soup. Gallon of great value brand milk, whole milk. Excuse me, I should come over here so I don't have to keep going out of your view. Two cans of Great Value Brand, one, two. Two cans of Great Value Brand, Golden Sweet, Whole Kernel Corn. These were 50 cents a can. 50 cents. And then my Campari tomatoes. Love these. Um, I've been getting them wherever I go. I first started seeing them at Aldi, then Walmart has them. Market Basket has them, but I got them today at Walmart, obviously, because that's where I went. And I got the two pound bag of Great Value brand crinkle cut French fries. Let's see what else. 
noisy shower sorry sun's getting in the shower I needed this for my um, turkey and I'm gonna put a little in my stuffing it's the great value brand rubbed sage and let me interrupt or stop my grocery haul to tell you that in yesterday's video when I was just um, I started it by making bacon I told you that um, my parents wanted to go up to dinner for Thanksgiving and I was probably just gonna cook my turkey here because I didn't want to go out. Long story short, I'm going to my mother's. I'm bringing the turkey. We're having Thanksgiving at my mom's. All right, so now I did the tomatoes, butter, four sticks of butter. It, I think it was like $4.96. It was over $4, it wasn't $5. So I'm gonna say $4.96, $4.98. So butter is still up there. Uh, two things of Pringles potato chips, sour cream and onion, and the cheddar cheese. These are two dollars now. I remember when they were a dollar. They're two dollars now. Got two things of stove top uh, turkey stuffing. I was looking for the bag of the uh, Pepperidge Farms bag stuffing, and they didn't have any. They might have been sold out, but I looked everywhere and the guy that works at Walmart for whatever reason couldn't understand what I was talking about so I just got this I'm just gonna doctor this up then I got um, loaf of nature's own wheat bread I have some other things that aren't grocery related I think I've told you that and I'm really excited to show you one of the things all right bag of great value brand do you see a pattern here great value brand I swear by it. I'm all about generic. I think we all should be in these troubled times as far as prices. But anyway, great value brand medium cooked shrimp. This huge honking thing of great value brand creamy peanut butter. This was like three, whatever. I'm not going to pull out my receipt. But anyways, and to go with it, great value brand grape jelly. Got a value size Heinz homestyle turkey gravy, which I might use, might not. I know um, my mom likes to make a gravy out of the pan drippings, you know, with the flour, and you make a roux. But if we use this, we use it. If we don't use it, we don't. And I end up taking it home, right? All right. All right. Then my usual great value brand, who knew, Colombian coffee, the K cups, 12 count. I've tried other store brands of um, coffee, K-Cups, like I told you, the Market Basket. I don't like it. This is the one that I like the most, so I got it. I didn't need these, but I still have a box in the um, cabinet. But whenever I see these and they have them, because they, there's times that they don't have them, I get these swear by them but you already know that these um tall kitchen bags 13 gallon drawstring 20 bag they were two dollars and 18 cents and if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen me talk about these when you're at walmart i don't know if any other store has these but if you're at walmart these on the bottom shelf the very bottom shelf of um, where you get your garbage bags and just like anything else the higher priced products are at eye level right at eye level you get a look at the bottom or the top shelves and that is where the cheaper or less expensive items are so that's your little um, financial lesson today and I got whoopsie one two three four five gala apples got a thing with great value brand original whipped cream and that is for Thanksgiving um, put on pie. My mom says she has pie. So then I got six mega rolls, which equal, so they say, 24 regular rolls of the great value brand Soft and Strong Premium Bath Tissue 2 Ply. Great value brand aluminum foil, 25 square feet. This was two, two something. The bigger rolls were for something. I didn't need a bigger roll. I still have some, but I just need an extra one. So I got that. Then I got my yogurt, the Great Value brand light Greek yogurt. Got the strawberry and the blueberry. 
these are pretty good. They're very good. If they weren't, I wouldn't have bought them. So there's 80 calories, 80 calories, I'll show you. 80 calories and um, the sugar is only five grams. The other regular great value brand Greek yogurt, there's, um, I think there's like 12 grams or 15 grams of sugar. Yeah, so we didn't go with that. There's 12 grams of protein. So we got that and then I got um, to go with the pork chops. I got some Bush's country style baked beans. Great value brand, orange juice, no pulp. And then I got an ocean spray cran grape. So that is all the things for the groceries. How about those potatoes, huh? The price of those potatoes, I was so excited, but you already know that. So now I'm going to show you the non-grocery related things that I bought. And one of them I'm really excited to tell you about. So, oh, actually, Here's an onion. That's grocery related. Not quite sure how I ended up putting it in that bag. I had to bag my own groceries, of course. There's an onion. Put this back in the bag. And then I'll get you showing, showing you the stuff that's really not grocery related. All right. So I got Equate brand low dose aspirin. I have to take one of those a day. And then. my Equate brand, which is the Walmart brand of Olay. This is just like the oil of Olay. It's a lot cheaper and it's just as good. It's the same stuff. It really is, ladies or guys. Guys can put this on their face too. Um, yeah, there you go. And I'm gonna show you, open the package. You can see it's packaged just like oil of Olay. It's like 411, 498, something like that. So there you go. Is that and then I got the nighttime one nighttime which I put on in the morning too daytime you know my neck because I'm sure you've seen especially in the daylight I have a lot of wrinkles on my neck and I will tell you that the wrinkles that I have on my neck are from the Sun thinking I'm cool in my earlier days just laying on the Sun getting a great tan that's from sunburn. It's from sunburn. So anyways, there's the Equate nighttime. Now, are you ready? Are you ready for the thing that I want to show you? Adorable, not food related, not beauty related, but it's old fashioned Christmas related. And if you watch any of my other videos, you know I'm trying to bring an old fashioned Christmas decor into my home. Look at, look at this reindeer. Holiday time decor. And this little reindeer was $11.98. They had other ones that are standing up on all four legs. They were $14.98. Then one spot spent $14.98. So $3 less. And I like the way she was laying down. Look at her. She's sparkly. She's spotted. She's got a nice little collar on. And do you remember the thing I bought at the Dollar Tree with the old-fashioned reindeer? Do you remember that? This reminds me of it. You know what? In case you don't remember, let me go get it. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. It wasn't where I thought it was. I was like, where is it? I don't want to have to go and tell them I don't know where it is. But anyways, remember that I bought that for $3 at the Dollar Tree? See the old-fashioned little deer? Yeah, it reminds me of... This little one that I bought. See? Isn't that cute? In fact, I might put them when I decorate for Christmas, probably next weekend after Thanksgiving. I'll probably put them together. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Or that way. Or however way. So yeah, I was excited when I saw that. I was excited when I saw the potatoes. Can't you tell? Yeah. So Today's Saturday. Tomorrow I'm going to visit my mom and help her clean up the house a little bit. She needs a little help. And yeah, I hope you're all well. I did not go to the parade this morning, the um, America's hometown, because we are in Plymouth. I did not go to the parade because it was raining. But 
if you want to watch that parade, it's like a great parade. I don't know how great it was in the rain, but it's usually really good in the local or the Boston um, WCVB Channel 5. They always broadcast from the parade. So go online. I'm, it might even be on YouTube. The WCVB Plymouth Thanksgiving Parade for 2024. Did you even see the one for 2023? 2022 they're always really good anyways i'm rambling thanks for watching my haul thanks for my little reindeer and thanks for that bag of potatoes huh so happy have a good day Bye bye